hi so what we are going to see today is like something interesting and it is like quite challenging also for the uh, many robotics engineers so what is the biggest challenge is like creating your own world in gazebo so people used to create by themselves without any proper machine but if you want to use a robot in a real place let's take you are using in your um, example your house where the external dimensions everything matters a lot when the robot is moving or if you take any projects like uh, let's take a hospital where we do have like a, a proper dimensions are required to enable the robot to move in a proper way or to create a map we need like proper feedback from the robot so to achieve this what we usually do is open gazebo first let's go here gazebo so it will take like a, a minute to open sometimes it may take like a couple of minutes so we need to wait and this is the default gazebo ui it will look when you are opening it now uh, by default what we usually do is like we can get something from the github or maybe like you have saved earlier that map you can just open and sorry that world you can just open and you can just start moving your robot using teleop paste or teleop keyboard or teleop joystick kind of so now for easy understanding i'm having few things in my uh, gazebo earlier i have saved i'm just clicking this simple room so if i zoom out you can see i'm having a simple room which is like a simple cuboid or cube i can say i'm just moving here and just holding it you can see uh, i i'm able to load a world okay so this i have created earlier and i'm just using it uh, so this is like very easy level if you want like little complicated so maybe we can take something like this so this is like very huge you can see and uh, gazebo may behave little different when you have loaded something like this if you zoom out if you rotate you can find like it is having like so many rooms so if the mobile robot is moving in this particular factory it will be like quite challenging but autonomous robot can easily do this okay so i don't want this one also if you want to create your own just delete this one since it is like a very big world uh, gazebo will take some time to delete it properly even it is it may throw error yeah so you can see now it is giving an error saying that uh, it's not responding just press wait okay so don't click anything just press wait you need to wait for another one minute yes it is properly closed now now what we can do is like creating our own world based on the uh, floor map okay so let's click this edit and go to building editor or you can press ctrl b also to achieve this one just reach here and you can find an option which is like what you can click and you can move wherever you want and you can create in the 2d plane okay so once you have done you can press escape key now in the bottom if you watch closely the same 3d representation of what we have done on top it is created okay let me zoom and rotate properly so we are able to see this if you want to add any textures you can just put like this it will add okay but if you don't prefer all those things like uh, this doesn't have any proper uh, dimensions because if i'm clicking here randomly i'm clicking and i'm moving like four meter five meter kind of thing but if you want to be like little more precise what we can do okay so we can just uh, see that just press delete on everything like this yes so you can see an option that is called import which is at the bottom just click this import and it will ask for a file name okay so this file name is nothing but a floor plan so you can have your own floor plan created in autocad or maybe like any other 2d software and you can save it like in png file basically so you can see support or formats or like either png or you need to have jp so just click this file name and at the back side you can see it got something open just click that one slightly move this one and go to downloads so for today's trial i am having something already downloaded here you can see there is something called floor plan uh, example.png either you can use this one but if you feel like you want to something uh, get it on your own just you can go to online and you can put like floorplan.png you can find many uh, images like okay so for me it is looking like little good so let's download this one let's like save images yeah you can see when it is saving, saving it is, is having like dot png dot extension file extension you need to see and confirm okay and it is having a very big name i want it to be like very simple let's put just click here control a flow underscore and 
underscore one. And when you are typing anything in uh, like related to ROS, don't use capital letters because it will create sometimes problem. So let's put like this load underscore plan underscore one dot png. Okay. Let's just save this one. That's save. So now again coming here, press this file. Not responding. Just give me a minute. We can close this. Yes. So this is the back one. Uh, just observe like where exactly it is. Load plan. If it is not, just click some other thing again. Press downloads. It will be uh, revised. How oh, you can load plan underscore one dot ph. Okay. So that is properly done. Uh, press open. So you can see that uh, existing flow plan. It is automatically uploaded here. Just press next. And here you can find it is having something called distance. Okay. So this distance is like very very important. You need to be very careful uh, when you are downloading like floor plan or uh, maybe like industrial uh, different shop floor plan. So you need to be very careful in confirming where exactly this one meter is located. Based on this, automatically the entire scale of the floor plan will be changed. Now what I'm doing is let's assume this door opening is one meter. Okay. So I need to be very close here. Click and stop exactly here okay so i'm just informing to the gazebo saying this is one meter and based on this change the entire scale so i'm just clicking okay now you can see on top we had a floor plan which is like properly located here so what we need to do now is we need to create watts okay so you need to just click on exactly here let's start from here and move here and move like this if you want to see the same in here you can just rotate and so yes so here also you can zoom slightly you can do some corrections yes click and again click okay so up to this we have done one step just press escape again press here you can start from here let's click here and travel not like very accurate I'm doing, but uh, we can be like little more precise okay, when you're doing for real time. Let's zoom a little more. Just click here and travel like this. And again, go to the top. Click here. Again, reach. Okay. This is like one way we have just done the outer side. Similarly, we do have like inner. So here you can see there is a partition. So just click here. Maybe we can just be not the correct question. Yeah, so now like almost okay. So let's press escape. And if you prefer to do for all the things, we can do like okay. Move around, move around, and Prefer for maybe something like this. Just click here, go up to here, and reach here. Again, you can reach here. Again, you can just close it. Okay, so like this, we can do like many things. Uh, the point is like we can just copy and paste based on our requirement. So, if you're not able to view it properly, just rotate the angle, and maybe you can just zoom, you can find the same way okay yes now it is like very good comparing to here yeah so bedroom we do have like a, a door or something here or be like a window you can just press window and you can just move around and you can put a window here okay this that is not sufficient yes you need to add one more okay it again depends like on the size we have given earlier based on the scale and if you prefer to add a door you can just click here and you can move around and you can just go exactly here so you can see now there is a door here and we do have windows also here okay. so we can add small texture for easy uh, for good looking just click 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 yes and for inner walls, maybe we can have a different color. Maybe this brick we can use just to give a different color.
I believe here one more wall is there. Now you can press again escape. Now you can see like this is based on the input we have done. You prefer to save, just click file, save, and you can put a name. Let's say this is a again. You can put uh, room. We can try small letters room underscore two and press save. Okay, it's done. The file exit building editor will give a warning that is like very very important. So if you press exit now, you cannot do any corrections, modifications, alterations to this particular world. Okay, it's like uh, you are done with this editor, so you cannot do anything again like corrections kind of things. If you want to start from the beginning, again you need to open a new one. You need to start like a scratch, and you need to build your own environment. Okay, so that is like a, a little disadvantage I can say, but as of now that is the only way we can do. Just press exit, and now it will take a second. Yeah, so you can see here the world which we have created based on that input. It is available. Okay, so if you click this one, and if you want to move, maybe like front and back, you can just click. And you can slightly rotate like this. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so we can do all these kind of corrections. And if you prefer, like you want to add maybe additional chairs, everything, we can do that. Also. But we are not going to see all those things in this video. Okay, so this is the final result we can see here. This is our own mold we have created based on the requirement we have entered. Thank you.